This is not a uh, hobby. Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's not too late to believe in Jesus. That's the truth. Yep, this is it. This is the gate. Do I need the car? You have reached your destination. This is our home for the night at Gan Eden Farms. We are in Florida and we have our own private watchdog. We don't need to unhook here. He usually just has one guest per night. So about any size rig definitely will fit here. They do have a fire ring for you. It's a little breezy tonight, so I think we're gonna pass on the fire ring. Are you king of the sandcastle? Good boy. Yeah, you're the king of the sandcastle. You are. You're a pretty one. Yes, you are. You almost blend right in. The three sisters garden. I like to have that for kids and uh -huh. stuff. Come out so, I, so we can give them a little history lesson and stuff. American Indians used to plant it and they called it three sisters. They plant corn and then they'd plant beans around the bottom to grow up the corn and then squash of some type, uh, acorn or zucchini or yellow neck or whatever, mm -hmm. or pumpkins, and uh, uh, to kind of shade the ground. Supposedly if you eat all three of those, you know, corn, beans, and squash together, you get a complete protein. Ooh. And then right through here, if I can keep the dogs from chewing on it, I've got a line of sugar cane. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, I planted it last spring and some of it came up and then some more is coming up this year. So hopefully this fall I'll have enough of it that when harvest folks come in or tourists come in, kids, and I can cut it and, and uh, let people chew on a piece of sugar cane. Oh, that'd be really nice. Lavender. Well, That's lavender there. Yeah, okay. You can go over there and run your hand through it and smell it. Hello, guy. You gonna help me with the lavender? Huh? Yeah. These little structures here. Goats don't mind the heat or the cold, but they don't like to get wet. Right. So I have these little teepee-like things to get for them to get under so that they can uh, uh, get out of the rain. And they get under trees too and stuff like that. The cattle and the, the sheep really don't care. Chickens don't care. <laughs> Geese and ducks think it's great. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, do you need my camera? No. So why the double gates? Because the dog's getting out. Okay. You guys I, escape. I usually I usually tell people that oh, I'll have that so I have a killing zone in case I get, <laughs> I get invaded. There you go. The girls on the left over here. Uh, I've got one ran. I got one uh, 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 male goat out there, and the rest of them's females, and they're all pregnant. So you're gonna have plenty of goats. Yeah, I'm gonna have plenty of goats. I gotta get rid of some goats here. These guys over here, those yearlings, are gonna have to grow pretty fast so I can get rid of them. And then our forest area down here, I, I just, I'm kind of proud of it. We went in there and did some forest mulching and, and took a lot of uh, the undergrowth down and some of the trees. And I still gotta cut some of the trees because we want to make it into a silver pat pasture, which is a mixture. of trees and pasture. Did you see the baby chicks? Yeah, those baby chicks, there's two of them. She hatched those baby chicks. Wow. <laughs> so they, she thinks they're hers. <laughs> Get down puppies. Aww. 
big brown ones are Nubians and the black and white ones are Nubian uh, myotonic crosses. The big guy coming in with the horns and black and white, he's a, he's a full-blooded myotonic, which is the Tennessee fainting goat. And you can tell the way he walks, he kind of, myotonics have, they grade them between uh, uh, one and five, and he's yeah. probably a five or maybe a four, because he's kind of stiff-legged. You gonna come see me? Hi, little guy. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Can I, nope, I don't have anything for you. We, we, yeah, that's what he wants. You got food? So we were in Texas and we stopped at a rest stop and there was a bunch of uh, wild pigs and they come right up to you. Well, is there any food left in there? Uh, blueberries up here. The reason I planted blueberries was because I want to, I grow ghost peppers and I want to make a blueberry ghost pepper jam. Ooh. And uh, I've made it before with other people's blueberries, but I want to use my own, but I want to call it blueberry. <laughs> That'll be cool. So you make all your own jams and jellies yes, here? Yes, ma'am. Are you talking to us? Hi, I hear you. Not sure if you can see the book in game locker over there for your use. Pretty cool. Even at a harvest toast, one of my favorite things give a book, take a book. So we are at Gan Eden Farms. Wonderful. I have a few books to put in there and going to take one out. I even have some games in there if you uh, want to use some games. And you can bring them back or put some others in there. I think I will just donate today. All right. Let's see what you got, kid. I brought some eggs along just in Perfect. case. Perfect. Oh, definitely. Always eggs. They're five dollars a dozen. Okay, so I'll be like interchanging my eggs. I'll definitely. Yeah. Are you, do you want me to take what I want? Yeah, or? just go ahead. Okay. And you can sit down someplace and. I'll just put them on the back seat. Okay. There are the spare do. ribs. Alrighty. That's Thirty-three ninety-six. Okay. If you want I those. I do. I do want some good, fresh spare ribs. The pork chops. Okay. okay. And that's forty-three fifty-two. Okay. Yeah. And. There's four pretty good sized pork chops in there. Oh, yummy. These are infused vinegars. Uh -huh. It starts out with apple cider, uh, organic apple cider vinegar with the mother. And then we infuse different uh, stuff in it. Chili, garlic is... Yeah. I think I'm going to stick with the meat and eggs. Okay. Um, however, I was going to ask you, how did you get your name for the, for the farm? The Gan Eden Farms? Yeah, Gan Eden Gan Farms. Gan Eden Farms is uh, Hebrew for uh, Garden of Eden. All right time for the Gan Eden Farms Cellular Service Report. Well, right off the bat, you can see that we were out in the middle of pretty much nowhere. So our AT&T speed was 3.49 megabits down. T-Mobile was 3.25, a close second. And poor, poor Verizon bringing up the lead at 0 0.70. And, uh, I suggest you don't do, stream any movies while you're staying here, but, you know, you can check your email. Otherwise, go out and play with the goats. They're cute. We'll see you next time.